My name is Katie Burrell. I work in marketing in the ski industry, and I kind of hate it. I watch the guides, athletes, coaches, going outside, skiing, doing whatever they do. Oh. I'm okay, I'm okay. Well, I'm stuck behind a desk making them look good. And I've had it. It's my turn to shine. I've decided I'm gonna become one of them, one of these ski industry darlings, one of these stars. I mean, they go up, they go down. How hard could it be? Option one, I'm like a pro skier, coach, entrepreneur, like intuitive theta healing, so nice environmental advocate, like public speaking, female empowerment, but not in an annoying way, like collecting people with complimentary skill sets and introducing them, guy. Like, do you know Leah Evans? Kind of like that. You know how to like me weak in the knees when you pull yourself on. My personal philosophy with coaching is to meet people where they're at and kind of see their skill set. And then from there, we work on the building blocks of getting them the foundations. Then we really work on the headspace. I think Leah's a bit soft with these girls. Do you have boyfriends? Yeah. Are they skier, are they skier boys? Yeah. Do they drive trucks with sleds in the back? Yeah. Do they have long hair? Do they all live together? Do they go to the pool? Do you flips off the diving board? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we have a lot to work on today, girls. Qualities I feel that make a really good coach at Girls Do Ski is someone that's very empathetic. I don't know, Katie looks flat. You're flat. Hit it. For confidence and technique, I love to use this skill called the power position. And I think that people get in this position and they're nice and powerful and then it can trigger something in their mind that they're like, okay, I am this person, I'm ready to step into the experience. Get into your power position. My personal approach to mentorship is lead by example. This is a clip drop and I am going to, to demonstrate. If I'm good, the people that are around me are gonna wanna be that good. Oh, we'll just wait, we'll just wait for these yahoos to go by. Go by! Oh, oh, a storm's rolling in. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're getting some weather, we'll just wait. They'll struggle to be that good, but they'll get close, which is, which is great for some people. Oh, oh, uh, no, I've gotten too low. Oh, shoot, I've gotten too low. Actually, this is quite, it's quite exposed here, girls. You might wanna just go around. Okay, a couple of things we're gonna workshop. We'll talk about it when I get to you. Or, ooh, option two. I'm like an ex-Olympic ski racer, big mountain, extreme first descent ski touring lodge, morning person guide, like knows how to use ice axes, no ACLs, but is stronger than you, like beautiful braid epic ponytail guy. You know? Kind of like Christina Lustenberger. I feel like I could do that. Guiding and the training that I've had to do to become a guide has elevated my skiing or my mountain craft and that eventually just led me to become a professional skier. The biggest challenge is just trying to survive. <laughs> That's our line. 
there it is. What do you think? Looks good, eh? Oh yeah, it's way more filled in than I thought. Can't wait to figure out that cliff band at the bottom. Yeah, it won't be a problem. Perfect. Always love a cliff band at the end of a couloir. It's my favorite. All right, well, after you. Okay, let's go. You don't need a break? I don't need a break. Okay, that's all we gotta do today. We gotta not die. That's it. Okay, you can do that. Just don't die. reasonable goals. Katie and I had talked about this objective for a long time and we think that it's something that she might really enjoy. Oh my god. Hi. She won't give up. Probably no complaining either. Should we call the hospital in advance to let them know that we're coming? This way's broken pelvis, this way's certain death. Okay, cool names. <laughs> how they make this look so easy in the movies. It takes like a full body, it's like a full body commitment for me. You're ready to go, eh? Yeah. Like I, I might need a minute. We'll down climb into here. I'll dig out a platform and then we'll ski down. How's that sound? Have you down climbed before? Mm, mm. Like out of lofts? I might just flip. I might just switch. What are you come? I might just change the pole walk length. down one here. Side. Oh, I hear the most successful people in the world have a good morning routine. I love mornings. Lemon water. Yeah. Okay, meditation, Katie. Meditation. Yoga. Right here. You're gonna and then walk in my journaling. steps. Plunge your ice axe. Look over your left shoulder, Watching and then take a step. Bulletproof coffee. Really intentional footsteps. Okay. One of the biggest parts of being a big mountain extreme skier is knowing how to look your ego in the eye and say, not today, you know? Getting to the top of that objective and saying, failure is only not forgiving yourself. You good, Katie? Yeah. Being able to assess risk versus reward, and when absolutely necessary, it's Katie Burrell. Be able to make that call. What are you doing right now? Tour. Yeah, you can't get there by helicopter. It's not possible. Okay, option three. I should just be a guide, but like a cool one, not one with like a soul patch and white sunglasses that I wear over my tube. Like, do you know Danny Harrison? More like that. Like a legendary first female certified mountain guide in North America that can like pee standing up. Like salty, flirty, sassy, old men love me. Like kind of have this dirty little mouth on me. Like so tough, I beat cancer through diet and infrared saunas and having much younger than me boyfriends that live on sailboats guy. You know? Today I have the exceptional task of mentoring Katie Burrell on how to become a guide. You're good to go. Are you getting in? You can only just give it your best shot and we'll just see what God's given me. Poor Katie. You good to go. Yeah, I mean, the guide's meeting really blew my mind. I was like, 
Are you guys all listening to each other? <laughs> this is so boring. That's what Klaus was saying when he looked at the long range. That, that... No, it's pretty dry, the long range. Yeah. yeah. Long range. There ain't no is... snow. Not till the end of April. Right. End of April. Have you ever snowmobiled? <clears throat> yes. Okay. One, one time. Just out of cur like, just out of curiosity, did Annie say if she thought I was cool? To become a guide, it's not easy. You, know, it's, you need the physical strength, and before you can even start to challenge those exams, you have to have a lot of miles. So it, it takes some effort. The most important part of guiding is getting these jokes unlocked. Why did God create man? Why? Life support system for penis. How can you tell when a man has an orgasm? How? Who cares? That's okay, I'll just look at the mountain cock getting into the cockpit. Look at that mountain cock. Are we objectifying him, Diney? Yeah. Because I like it. I think he likes it too. Snow science wise, I was like, okay. I didn't get it, to be honest. I, I didn't follow a lot of that. Here, let's see this little thin crust. Well, snow science work can be anything from looking for instabilities, checking how the new snow bonds, to the Six. skiing quality. Nine, ten. Let's ski it. Well, actually, I was thinking maybe you should dig a pit and see if you can confirm the same kind of test results. I'll be over there in a couple of minutes. It kind of, I mean, it surprised me. I have a very natural instinct for guiding. Okay, should I be right behind you? Uh, yeah, no, two turns. Two behind, turns. Behind me. Two turns behind you. Okay. No, right behind me. I would like you close. Thank you. Oh, right okay. behind me. Okay. Oh my god, I'm a guide! I'm a guide! I'm not really sure how this is guiding, but. Yeah, you know, I mean, it feels like there's a lot of sort of roundabout steps you have to take to become a guide. Dream job. Living the dream, as they say. You know, it might be time for me to just move on from the ski industry. You know, it's not as dreamy as these women make it look. Permission to enter. There are lots of other industries that I could do really well in. Okay, I, you're very menacing. I need you to just, like, let me in gently. Sports that are significantly less technical, like mountain biking or alpinism. Okay, you know, hey, hold on. Whoa, but, okay, you're definitely supposed to wait. I just gotta keep looking. He's escaping. Come back, big. Are you guys all naturally blonde? Same. Me too. It's natural. Go get the beginner some hot chocolate. We're hitting. We're hitting cliffs. I like skiing with anybody that will come skiing with me. Help me. Seriously. I'm not joking anymore. I need your help. I got it. Okay, what's the difference between an extra large pizza and a mountain guide? An extra large pizza can feed a family of four. Mm -hmm.